In this video, I'll refinish this table. I got this at a thrift store. I don't know much about it. It's unmarked, and I'm not sure if it's an old table or a newish table. But as you can see, it's in rough shape and could use a makeover. I started by repairing this chip in the veneer. First, I scraped away any finish that may have been left on the veneer around the repair area. And then put some water on it. And this would show me what the color would look like when I got some clear finish onto the wood. And this is the color that I wanted to try to match with the new piece of veneer. The only veneer I had was some walnut veneer. And the dark section of that walnut veneer would have been too dark, but the lighter sapwood, it was close enough for such a small repair. And then I cleaned up the edge of the veneer with a chisel so that it was as straight as I could get it. And then I cut out a small patch and I glued it on with some super glue. The first time I put it on, it wasn't quite straight, but luckily I was able to get it off before the glue completely dried. And then I glued it back on correctly. Then I just needed to trim off any excess veneer and I used a block of wood as a backer so that the knife wouldn't just tear off the veneer. And then a little bit of sanding and it was done. Next, I had to repair this hole. Not sure why it's there, but I needed to fill it. So I made a plug out of a piece of scrap walnut. This table is not made out of walnut, and I knew this walnut would not match. It's a lot darker, but I was okay with that. I thought it would add a little bit of interest to the table. And I just glued it in. Once the glue was dry, then I trimmed the plug with a chisel. And there was some tear out around the hole and I filled that with some wood filler. This filler also does not match the wood of the table. It's lighter but I knew I could touch it up later on so that it was a closer match and wouldn't be that noticeable. Next, it was time to clean up the surface of the wood. And in this case, I decided to just use a sander. This was a veneer on the top though, so I had to be very careful not to sand through the veneer. I just made sure to keep the sander moving and to not linger on the edges for too long because it's especially easy to sand through the veneer on the edges. It can be risky using a sander to do this, but I decided to use it in this case because there seemed to be very little, if any, finish on it. So I knew I wouldn't have to do a lot of sanding. After I had cleaned up the top, I started working on the base. And there was some evidence that somebody had been working on this table before. There was some dried up glue squeeze out in the joints. 
So somebody had re-glued these joints at some point. And I also noticed somebody had written numbers on the bottom of the top and on the apron, presumably because they had taken it apart and they wanted to keep track of what went back together with what. So I just had to remove any dried glue In these grooves on the legs, I used a scraper to get any finish or debris out of there. On the side of the top, I just used a utility knife blade to scrape off any finish on there. And then I was ready to start applying finish. I started with a clear Danish oil. I decided I didn't need any stain on this. As you can see, it's got a rich, deep color all on its own. Once the Danish oil was applied, I went back and touched up that wood filler around the plug that I put in. And to do this, I just used some clear shellac and some pigments. I just mixed them up to get a color that blended in well. I also used it in a few other spots, like this corner that had a bald spot on it. And this little crack in the veneer where I had used some filler. The Danish oil helped to bring out the grain and the color of the wood, but sometimes I find that Danish oil on its own can look a little dull and flat. So after the Danish oil had dried, I applied a few coats of clear lacquer. And this would give it a little bit more depth and some luster. And some more protection because the lacquer is a film finish that sits on top of the wood as opposed to the Danish oil that soaks into the wood. And here it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.